Welcome to our channel, where we dive deep into the fascinating world of fashion. Today, we're unraveling the intricate story of a garment that's both iconic and controversial, the corset. For centuries, the corset has been a symbol of femininity, beauty, and sometimes even oppression. In this video, we'll take you through the rich history of corsets, explore the various materials used in their construction, and discuss the different types of corsets that have evolved over time. If you love fashion history and want to learn more about the garments that have shaped women's lives, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. The corset's history is as complex as its design. Its origins can be traced back to ancient civilizations where early forms of body-shaping garments were worn by both men and women. However, the corset as we know it today began to take shape in the 16th century during the Renaissance. At that time, corsets were primarily worn to create a smooth, elongated torso, emphasizing the waistline and supporting the bust. These early corsets were made from stiffened linen or canvas, reinforced with materials like whalebone, horn, or even iron. They were worn over a chimace and were often laced tightly to achieve the desired silhouette. As we move into the 18th century, the corset became an essential part of a woman's wardrobe. It was during this period that the hourglass figure became the ideal of beauty, and the corset was the key to achieving it. Corsets of this era were often made from luxurious fabrics such as silk, satin, and brocade, adorned with intricate embroidery and lace. The structure of the corset was enhanced by the use of steel or whalebone stays, which provided the rigidity needed to mold the body into the fashionable shape of the time. The 19th century saw the corset reach new heights of popularity, but also sparked considerable controversy. During the Victorian era, the ideal female figure was one with a tiny waist, and women would often tight-lace their corsets to achieve this. The materials used in corsets became more advanced, with the introduction of steel busks and spiral steel boning, which allowed for greater flexibility and comfort while still providing the necessary support. However, the practice of tight lacing was criticized for its potential health risks, including breathing difficulties, digestive issues, and even the displacement of internal organs. Despite these concerns, the corset remained a staple of women's fashion until the early 20th century. With the advent of the 20th century, the corset began to lose its grip on women's fashion, coinciding with the rise of the women's liberation movement. The invention of elastic materials and the growing popularity of bras and girdles offered women more comfortable alternatives. By the 1920s, the corset had largely fallen out of favor, replaced by the more relaxed, androgynous styles of the flapper era. However, the corset never truly disappeared. It experienced a revival in the mid-20th century particularly in the 1950s, when the hourglass figure once again became fashionable. Modern corsets are often made from a variety of materials, including satin, leather, and even latex, and they serve a wide range of purposes, from high fashion to costume wear to body modification. Today, corsets come in many forms, from underbust and overbust designs to waist cinchers and bustiers. Each type offers a different level of support and coverage, catering to a variety of body shapes and personal preferences. While some people wear corsets for aesthetic reasons, others use them for medical or therapeutic purposes, such as posture correction or waist training. The materials used in contemporary corsets range from traditional fabrics like silk and cotton to more modern materials like mesh and spandex, which provide greater comfort and breathability. As we look back on the history of the corset, it's clear that this garment has played a significant role in shaping not only women's bodies, but also societal ideals of beauty and femininity. Whether you see the corset as a symbol of empowerment or oppression, there's no denying its enduring influence on fashion. If you enjoyed this exploration of corsets and want to delve deeper into the world of fashion, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. 
we have plenty more fascinating content coming your way, so stay tuned.